Hey guys! To start this video off, no, I have not joined back on Movie Star Planet, but what I'm planning on doing, because I literally am dry on ideas of what to upload, because half the time I don't want to record face videos, like, all the fucking time. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing in this video, and probably furthermore in other videos in the future, um... I'm probably going to be doing like little tutorials on how I edit my edits for Mr. Planet. Um, because I see a lot of comments on previous edits like, oh, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I'll probably be doing lots of tutorials on that, but for the first video of tutorials, uh, I'm just going to get down to like with the basics of how to start editing. So what I normally like to do is with this I like to make the characters like on a horizontal angle and I like like you gotta make sure that like all the lines are like I guess you could say perfect or straight. I don't know just do a random pose and then sure. And then, because my character has white and the background's white, what I tend to do is to go to like the shapes. Um, because this isn't a VIP account, uh, I'm just gonna go with like the second darkest gray, and then just press that button and it'll go right underneath the character, fit it to the whole screen, which is what I usually do. And then, once that is done, take your screenshot. Now, on your keyboard, there should be a button that says PRTSC or PRTSCR or something like that, print screen. Um, it should be at the top of your keyboard, um, right next to F2 or something like that, depending on what kind of keyboard you have. And you press that when you think the picture's right. So I just pressed it, and what I tend to do is I go to paint. Some people use snipping tool, but I don't know, I find this a little easier because like, I don't know, you press the button and then it's done, you know. Um, and then you just move it to the place you need it and then press the select tool and then press this, do your cropping and then crop. And then what I like to do so that I have to do this in Pixlr, I do rotate and then Rotate 90 degrees, so then it's upright, and then save as, and then you just save it to your pictures. Uh, let's try let one. And then you go out on Pixlr, and the sizes I usually use for like an edit are either this setting or this one. And then you make it transparent, and then layer open image as layer, then find your picture. Uh, I recommend when you make edits, make a folder so you're not looking through all your freaking pictures trying to find it. Um, so now you have this. So now what you need to do is press this little purple wand button and select the gray background. Now to delete it, uh, some people they, they right click and then they uh, Wait, what? I don't even know how they do it. But the way I do it is the backspace button. You just press it and it's gone. And then you unclick and if you see other little gray spots or whatever color your background is, just you zoom in to whatever you want, then grab this red square to where you need it, press it again, backspace. And all the places necessary. Alright, so now that that's done, um, because it's already a decent size, well, I recommend that you do what I did with this. Um, otherwise, if you, I don't know, choose a back, bigger background and your person's like kind of small, all you need to do is press edit and then free transform and then it'll show up these like square buttons and then you just make it bigger or smaller or whatever. Um, and yeah. Another thing is 
this little tool moves whatever layer you're on. See, I'm on layer one. Um, if you added another layer, it wouldn't move this one. It would move the layer that it's highlighted in blue, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Now, a lot of people ask, like, how I do certain things. Well, I see a lot of the time people asking how I delete the background. Well, I just showed you that part. Now, some people ask me how I make the whole character one color. It's very simplistic. All you do is filter and do tritone. And then make all these colors the exact same color. And then it's done. You know, like white. I don't know. And then look, it's all solid color. Um, that's one way to do it. Some other people do it a different way, which I don't understand how they do it. But that's the way I do it. Simplistic. Um, and for a little quick detour, some people go to layer and then layer styles. But a quicker button is this square with a little star on it. And you get to layer styles real quick. Now, drop shadows make it like thicker, whatever, distance, size, angle, um, then there's also the inner shadow, which I don't really use, um, and then inner and outer glows I usually use on, like, to get, like, a solid color as an outline. See, I would do hardness as zero, and then the size a little bit thicker, or, no, I'd make the hardness like one and then size like pretty low. No, that'll be the inner glow, sorry. <sighs> so then you make that whatever size you want and then I don't know, black and then you make Oh, whoops. Okay, so Yeah, so, uh, and, uh, yeah, and there. So there's like a simple outline. Um, yeah. And as for backgrounds, what you need to do to add a background, you need to click layer zero. Um, you can custom make your own backgrounds by clicking this gradient tool. Um, you can make like gradient colors like you can make your own by pressing this little button and make your own color. But for quick sakes, we'll just use this and you can move these around and all that. Um, so where you drag in the middle, that's going to be the blue. Uh, so you can do like a linear where it's just like this all in it not doing really anything. Or you can do a radial so it's like a circle. Um, also, for like a lines, you can do repeat and then linear. And then what you have to do is you have to make the lines like kind of like in the middle and make it like solid. And then just drag a little bit or a lot and then you have vertical or horizontal or whatever lines and that's that um so yeah as for anything else i'm not sure if i need to really cover it if there's anything else you want me to go into for like the basics that you need to know um just comment those in comment them below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible bye